So are we seeing the calm before the storm that we're going to have tomorrow? So the Federal Reserve is coming out tomorrow, and they're going to tell us exactly what they're going to do. So based on the economic calendar we have this week or for today, there's nothing going on. We have the 10-year auction coming up. So here's the, here's the intriguing piece. I've never saw it in my lifetime other than the last year or two. Basically this, stock slump is fed uh convenes monetary policy meeting. So the Federal Reserve is going to meet tomorrow. So the markets are on hold or standby. Dow drops more than 100 points as Fed meeting kicks off. What do they know? Do they know something we don't know? Then we go over here, stocks fall before uh, Fed as anxiety in Europe grows as well. So really all we have on the agenda today, let's go to the stock market to see how the, the markets in general are going on. We go through right through here. Dow Jones is down 200 points. Uh, S&P is down 10, NASDAQ's up 24. Well, let's see what oil's doing. Hopefully that's going down still. We're at 77. I'm uh, happy with that as long as it's below uh, 80 cryptocurrency. I like seeing that at 70. I don't like 66.9. It hit 70 just the other day. So if you're you're looking at the markets, man, they're just they're just holding holding on there. The Dow Jones down 200 points. That's a big big move for today. So is it a predecessor to what's to come. So if you if you really break down a lot of the data that we saw, the employment numbers other than last week, you know, there's a little bit of a shock and all there. Last week we had the employment numbers coming in. They were a little stronger than expected, but the wage growth is what freaked out the markets there. Other than that, we start we start seeing a lot of, you know, oil and other areas of inflation coming back down. So the Federal Reserve, what they're doing is, you know, it's 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 working. It'll eventually get there. Wow, that just came out guilty in criminal gun charges. So this, all this new stuff is getting ridiculous, but that's that. So right now, based on this, there's really no economic news out for the day. Let's see what the bond markets are doing right through here. The MBS market is down six. So what does that mean? It might be a good day for me to explain this to people. So if you watch my videos a lot, you get it. You understand how this works. But if you don't, let me explain how I figure out what the heck's going on with mortgage rates. So if you talk to some old school people, they'll say, well, watch the 10-year treasury because the 10-year treasury, that tells you the direction of what mortgage rates are doing. Well, yes, but there's a new tool that was created years ago that I don't know why people don't really follow. It's some mortgage bond. It's the actual mortgage bonds that trade on Wall Street. So this is it right here. It's called the MBS. How this works, this is a bond that trades. The number up there is what's happening to the price of the bond. So here's what you need to understand, how the price affects the rates, okay? So the higher you pay, or in this case, the lower you pay, because the price of the bond is going down right now. So the price is going down. What happens to the yields? They're going up. Here, here, let me explain it. Let me pay you a high price for this bond, and then I'll pay a low price to show you how lower prices make yields go up. Okay, so you'll, you'll understand this when I get to the end of it. So a mortgage bond, let's say the face value of it, it has a maturity value. It's 100 bucks. So we'll just say it's $100. So when that bond matures, I'm going to get 100 bucks. Well, in this case, the bond matures next year. Okay, so I'm gonna pay you a hundred bucks today, a high value. I'm gonna make this extremely easy for you. So I'm gonna pay you a hundred bucks today, give it to you today, you give me my bond, sit on it for a year, give you the bond back, and remember it has a face value of a hundred dollars. So I gave you my hundred bucks, uh, and then I got my bond, then a year went by, I gave you my bond, and I get my hundred bucks back. What's my yield? I gave you a hundred, you give me a hundred. Zero, nothing. Okay, so let's pay half of that. Let's go, so let's say, okay, today I'm gonna give you $50. I'm gonna give you a lower price like we're seeing up here. So I'm paying you a lower price for this bond. All right, so I give you 50 bucks, you give me my bond. I wait a year, wait a year, give you my bond back, you give me a hundred bucks. So initially I give you $50. When it matures, I give you a hundred bucks. What's my rate of return or what's my, what's my yield? A hundred percent. So do you see when I paid you a hundred bucks, my yield was zero. When I pay you 50 bucks, my, my, my rate is 100% or my return on investment or my yield. That's how it works. So that's why we follow this meticulously, what's going on with the MBS market to kind of predict or give you at least uh, uh, live data what the heck's going on with mortgage rates. So mortgage rates right now are going to be completely flat. Did that just go green? That just went green. Okay, now it's up six. Whatever. Uh, so now it's up six. It was down six, up six, and you saw it you know, going through there. So what's that going to do for mortgage rates? Going to do nothing today. The markets are going to be completely stagnant until tomorrow when the Federal Reserve comes out and tells us what they're going to do. Actually, that's a little bit of a delay there. 
because they really wait until the Federal Reserve, the chairman of the Federal Reserve comes out and actually starts speak, speaking to the press. And then they start grilling him with, uh, with questions, the answers to those questions, that is the market mover. So right now, these are the rates that you have for, for now. Uh, these are the top six programs people use when they're buying their first house. Now, these aren't my rates. These aren't any individual one bank's rates. What happens is Mortgage News Daily, right up there, they surveyed lenders all over the country, and ask them these five questions. They say, if you had somebody buying their first house, it was gonna be a primary home, they're gonna live there, and a single family home, and let's go to this so you can understand how this works. They have a 75 LTV, meaning they're putting down 25%, and they actually have a 780 credit score or higher. So that's the, that's the basis behind these rates. So if that's you, kudos, that's probably your rate. Reach out to me, I'd love to help you navigate that. But if that's not your rate or that's not your scenario, what is your scenario? We'd love to help you navigate this. So, you know, as your credit score is lower, what kind of rate can you get? How much of a down payment do you need? Do you need 25% down? No, most first time home buyers need 3% down. So there's a ton of misinformation out there. Our goal here on this channel is to inform and educate you guys everything real estate. So visit us at theRateUpdate.com. If you're looking to buy a house, the number one, the first thing ever that I want you to do, click the grant right there going to help you find grants up to $7,500 that you don't have to pay back. Fantastic program right there. And then you can navigate through this. You can look at terminologies, calculators, resources, and everything else, and you can actually apply online. But if you're out there and you're like, Dan, can I call you guys? Absolutely. Give us a call. The number is right through here, right at the bottom of the website, 844-775-5626, or you can email me directly. Yep, it will be me responding at dan at the rateupdate.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be back at the closing bell, let you guys know, was there anything that really took effect today? We'll answer that question in about two, three hours from now. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.